Hi there. I hope you have an understanding about primary memory and ACE types. Now, we shall look at secondary memory, which is also called auxiliary memory. Types of secondary memory are magnetic disk, optical disk, and flash memory. As primary memory is volatile memory, having a limited storage capacity, it is normally not sufficient to accommodate all the data. Therefore, secondary storage medium is used to store large volumes of data. The data stored on secondary storage is transferred to the primary storage as and when required. Secondary storage devices are of two types, magnetic or hard disk, and optical or CDs, DVDs, pen drives, zip drives. Although the cost of secondary memory is much less as compared to primary memory, however, access time of primary memory is very fast. Let us learn about hard disks. These are made up of rigid material and are usually a stack of metal disks sealed in a box. The hard disk and the hard disk drive exist together as a unit and is a permanent part of the computer where data and programs are saved. Storage capacity of these disks range from 1 GB to 80 GB and more. Hard disks are rewritable. A compact disk or a CD is a portable disk having data storage capacity between 650 to 750 megabytes. It can hold large amount of information such as music, full motion videos, and text. CDs can be either read-only or read-write type. A digital video disk or a DVD is similar to a CD but has large storage capacity and enormous clarity. Depending upon the disk type, it can store several gigabytes of data. DVDs are primarily used to store music or movies and can be played back on your television or the computer too. Flash memory. This memory keeps the data in the absence of power supply. For example, memory card, pen drive, and many more. Let us learn about another secondary storage system, which is called RAID. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disk. It is a way of storing the same data in different places on multiple hard disks that is redundant. All RAID levels do not provide redundancy. It provides the best backup solution, having data backed up to more than one hard drive. Let us find out more about the various configurations of RAID. RAID 0 this configuration has striping but no redundancy of data. It offers the best performance with no fault tolerance. RAID 1 It is also known as disk mirroring. This configuration consists of at least two drives that duplicate the storage of data. There is no striping and read performance is improved since either data can be read at the same time. Write performance is the same as it is for single disk storage. RAID 2 RAID 2 uses striping across disks with some disks storing error checking and correcting or ECC information. It has no advantages as such as RAID 3 and is no longer used. RAID 3 In this technique, striping is used and one drive is dedicated to storing parity information. The embedded ECC information detects errors. Data recovery is accomplished by calculating the exclusive OR or XOR of the information recorded on the other drives. Since an input-output operation addresses all drives at the same time, RAID 3 cannot overlap input-output. For this reason, RAID 3 is best for single-user systems with long record applications. Thank you and see you in our next lecture.